Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. My name is Margaret, and I have a haul video for you today. It is almost all jewelry, so if that's your gig, I'm here to make you very happy because I got jewelry. Um, I went out this morning to some garage sales, a church garage sale, a couple community garage sales, and got some stuff. I did do a ride along. I'll have to finish it up, but it's probably like going to be one of those that's like the worst ride along ever because lots of weird stuff was happening. Anyway, it was it was fun, but it was it was I don't know. It was like something was in the air. You ever have one of those days where it's like something's in the air? Everybody's being a little bit off today. So, and I just realized my thing is really wobbling. You're kind of perched on something, but I am live. So if you're ever wanting to come hang out live, um, go hit the little bell next to the subscribe button and also follow me on Facebook at Texas Gal Treasures. I've got two Facebook groups. One is called International League of Thrifters. One is called Texas Gals Jewelry Lovers, where we talk about reselling and other ways to make money in jewelry and things like that. Um, but hello in the chat. Hi, Christine and Peterson. Hello, Eric and Picky Chick and Lady Owl. Thanks for coming to hang out. All right. So let's jump into it. I spent probably about $130 today um, because at the church garage sale, the it was weird. It was not like a normal church garage sale like I'd ever been to. Like people had their, it was like a church hosting garage sales for people if that makes sense like people had their own like booth areas in the parking lot i've got to figure this out because this is wobbling and while it might not bother you it's gonna bother me okay there we go um so like it, everybody had their own little booth so some people's prices were bananas and i'm not talking like ebay prices i'm talking about out of your mind not even ebay prices cray 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 prices um and then some were good prices so i mean like there was a lady and i took some footage of it selling jewelry like stuff i would get out of a jewelry jar like not nice stuff but like not even sterling silver like a silver tone chain necklace for i'm not joking 62 dollars or 65 dollars and then like another like necklace and ring I don't even think they were sterling silver and she had it marked $125. This is not a church garage sale. But anyway, um, I did buy this bag of fun from a lady at the garage sale, the church garage sale, and all of her jewelry was five bucks a piece. And I was like, okay, I can get on board with that. Um, I think I can find some pieces here and I could have bought more, but I, I didn't. Um, and then I got a mug full of jewelry that I'm going to show you. Isn't this fun? Because there was nothing for me to put it in. So this mug full of jewelry was 20 bucks, And there is some silver in there. So that's exciting. Um, and I was kind of in a hurry because we were we went to this archaeology fair today. It was so fun. Um, but I was like, I didn't have time to look at everything over in the car. So we're going to kind of look at stuff together. And then I got some loose pieces. And I got some other fun rings. So all this jewel, all of this... All of this gorgeousness, I got um, anyway. This jewelry and this jewelry for two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Uh, I think she only charged me seven bucks. Um, anyway, hi, 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 Cindy. So I got rings and I got all this other stuff. So anyway, okay, where to start? Let's start with this twenty-five cent watch. <laughs> Let me show you this 25 cent watch I got. Again, I, I have to look at everything too. So it's almost like it's almost like we get to look at it together because I was trying to hurry up to hit as much as I could before I had to go home <laughs> to go to the archaeology fair. It was very fun. Um, so this is quartz and what's on the back? Let's see. It just says Japan quartz movement, but I love it. It's beautiful with these little mark marcasite stones and everything. So very cool. Oh wait, is it silver? Hang on. D, okay, that says D, it's marked DBJ and then 925. Okay, cool. So the, the at least the, um, the chain and maybe the facing part around the watch is silver. 
that's pretty good and that's a good deal for a quarter come on now we're starting strong for 25 cents there like so okay cool where's my box i have a box to put it in hi uh who else is there hi kathleen hi, oh i said hi to peterson hello mortal hourglass okay then i also got for a quarter again i was moving quick so i didn't have time to see in the moment if it was silver or not. I just thought it looked pretty. I got this cross with these little kind of pinky purple stones. It almost looks like, it looks like they're trying to look like marcasites. Oops, wrong side. But I think it's just like crimped metal that's made to look like marcasites. Um, but the chain is really pretty. Like so. Where's my magnet? Where's my magnet? Say It is magnetic. But still, that chain's really nice. So I still think it's pretty. And that was 25 cents. Yes! I think I can make my money back on that. <laughs> Even though, I mean, I, I, 130 bucks is a lot to spend, I know. But I really think I'm going to have not a problem making my money back. Um, and I bought this. This necklace was a dollar. I don't really think it's gold. No, it's... It is magnetic. But again, it was one of those like, okay, let me just pick stuff up and go because I'm in a hurry. Don't start beeping. I've got to figure out where this watch is over there that just goes off every now and then. Hang on. I'm looking at the back of this. So did you guys get to go out today? I was worried that it was going to be raining because we've been apparently getting all the rain in the world here. It was dry forever. Months. And then now it's been raining like nonstop for, I don't know, like three weeks or something. Hey, Rags. Okay, so while I'm showing you guys stuff, I can tell you other weird things that happened today. So this is a buck. These earrings, they have a kind of a, it's not cloisonné, but it looks kind of like that style, but it's more like an enamel filling. Enamel filling. Ew, I just realized. See, this is what happens when you don't look too closely and you're like, I'm in a hurry. So I just saw this part of them, which is, you know, pretty nice, kind of festive. But then look, the back is grody. You know, no. Nope. Okay. These things happen. It's cool. <laughs> Maybe the doll setting up. Oh, no. <laughs> no rain in Vegas. Yeah, it's been rain. I mean, honestly, I, sh I shouldn't complain. There have been places that are getting really bad flooded, though. Okay, and I did get this for $2. It is silver plate, and what do you say it is? Like, it's hinged. It's got this doodad, so it's hinged. Um, and I was going to sell it. This is the problem with telling my husband things. Hang on. I'm rubbing off the tarnish so you can see the bottom. So that's, is it upside down? It is. Look how good. Um, so it is silver plate. At first, I thought, you know, oh, this will be good um, to do a lot in because I got this for two bucks. And I was like, oh, it'd be kind of fun to like fill it and do a lot. And then I showed it to Randy and he's like, oh, that'd be a nice candy dish or something. Like we have a candy dish. Like since when do we have a candy dish? But apparently he thinks this will make a nice candy dish. And so he's not sure that I should sell it don't need a candy dish. Anyway, whatever. So I thought it would be fun, you know, when you're doing lots and stuff and it draws in the eye. So I thought it would be a cool piece to draw in the eye. Um, oh, I saw the cameos that you got in the group, Immortal Hourglass, because in the group your name is something different. I can't think of it. Um, oh, Randy, I know. He's the one trying to get me to get rid of stuff. Um, you, well, I didn't say we don't have candy. Mr. Mark, we have candy. <laughs> we just don't have a candy dish. <laughs> oh, hi, Shauna. How's it going? Um, but, yeah, she shared in uh, Texas Gals, Drew Lovers, some of the cameos and stuff that she found in a, in a lot. Okay, so this lady, I spent, I feel like it should be more, but I, I think I only spent seven bucks with her. Two? Because two of the rings were two dollars each, the other rings were a dollar each. But then she told me seven bucks, so maybe she just like rounded it up. I don't know. Okay, so rings. We got friends who like rings. 
First ring looks like this. It's this purpley stone, very pretty and blingy. It almost looks like half seas. When I get it up close, doesn't it look like part of it's like half pink and the other is half purple? It does. Let me turn it upside down and see. Hang on. See that? It's this. Oh, it must be the way the light catches it. I'm trying to do it in real time. Because see, look, I'm going to turn it and the purple is going to still stay on the top. It's purple on the top still. Um, yes, more rings for Thursday's auction. <laughs> so there's this one. This was uh, $2. Um, and I, I don't know what this kind of coating is called. I know there's a name for it, but I can't think of it. Where it's got that like black. I don't see any marks on it, but it's gorgeous. I love the ring. I love it. Beautiful. Okay. There's that. I'm going to put it over here in my candy dish. Maybe. No, no. I'm going to forget. I'm going to forget it's in there. <laughs> okay. Next ring. This one is sterling silver. And it has this amethyst stone in it. And so that one was two bucks. Isn't that pretty? Pretty. And it's got just kind of like rope work on the side. Kind of like cable knitted. If you know what that looks like. And I'm looking to see if it just says 925 or it says anything else. 925 over there. And that looks like it. So for a sterling silver ring with like a facet cut amethyst, that's pretty nice. Cool. Okay. Hang on. I'm going to bring this over here because I'm having to turn weird. All right, and then this ring, which is not like a crazy wow ring, but for a dollar, I was like, yeah, okay, that's cool. And she didn't say, hang on, let me just get my magnet. Oh, yeah, it is magnetic, so not sterling silver. Hi, Ruthie. Oh, poor thing. <laughs> and then next up is a ring that has a, wait, is that a Rivoli? Yeah, it's got this Rivoli stone in it and kind of like a flower out of this serpentine chain. So it's pretty like that. And that was a dollar. Then this one I really like and I'm struggling to decide if I should sell it or not. Hang on. It is magnetic, which, okay. But look at it. Oh, thank you, Jen. The watch you showed earlier is a Jasco. There are some on eBay, about $30 range. Nice. All right, so here's another one with these Marcosite. It looks like a star with this crystal in the in it. Hang on, let's see if I can get that on there. See, isn't it gorgeous? I love it. And that was a dollar. It's really pretty. I love it. I love it. <laughs> there we go. Pardon me. And then I got some parrots. I, again, I love picking up figural stuff. There are people that love parrots. And so these are little wooden, lightweight parrots, macaws, whatever. Okay. And then there are some that have that cloisonne look. Uh, these are, I don't know if those are parrots or not. They are some kind of tropical bird. Hold still, tropical bird. Like so, and let's see the other one. There, and they are not marked. And then I got a pin, and it is another tropical bird. There are people that are into their birds and tropicals. Okay, and then this thing, I got the hand too, because I didn't have one, and I see people with them, and I'm like, oh, I want one of those, and now I do. <laughs> so. That's for me. Okay, so all of that, I'm like, she charged, maybe it was 12 bucks. Maybe I was was seeing the two, maybe it was 12 bucks. That might, maybe makes more sense. I think at first she said, I don't know. Anyway, somewhere between seven and 12 bucks. Okay, you always get a good price for your parrot joy. Oh, sweet, Ruthie, that's nice. Um, <laughs> That's good. Okay, so next, oh, wait, I also got this yesterday. If you saw yesterday's, um, Bolo video. I think it was, was it Ginny? Somebody shared, I think it was Ginny. 
and shared uh, about Lisa Frank. No, it wasn't Jenny. Who was it? I'm so horrible. I can't keep things in my head. Um, but we were talking about Lisa Frank and how the vintage Lisa Frank can go for pretty good money. This one is not vintage. Um, you can tell because the L and the F are lowercase. And the vintage Lisa Frank has the uppercase. I think I got it straight this time. Um, but these are cats, which are really good subject matter. And the worst case scenario is if it's worth nothing, and then my kids have a cat sketch pad because it's just like blank papers. But I couldn't find these two cats. Like I found this, one of the white ones with like a black cat. So there's a white cat and a black cat. I haven't seen any with these two cats. Oh, get on the scene and join Lisa. There's a Lisa Frank club. Hmm. Um, so, and no, and look, it's online, so that's not vintage. Um, but we'll see. Yeah. Um, oh my gosh, right? Peterson, yesterday we were talking about the scratch and sniff. I was talking to my husband about that. And he was like, really? Because he remembers, like, if we were good in class at the end of the week, we got one of those scratch and stuff. It was like gold. Yes, totally, Heather. Yeah. I don't think this this one isn't um, vintage. But the one in yesterday's video, she had the aliens. And the if you find the Lisa Frank vintage, like, aliens, yeah. Yes, the skunk and the peanut butter sandwich, yeah. This is my afternoon caffeine fix. Okay, I'm going to let you vote. Do you want to do next the $20 mug o jewelry or the $100 bag of other jewelry? <laughs> so what's it going to be? There was nothing. My son was like, oh, did you want that mug too? And I was like, no. There was just nothing for me to put it in. I, I always try to find when I go to a – this was an indoor sale. I always try to find a basket or a container or something to put – the stuff in so oh, i can't hold it all okay it's the bag it's the secret bag so everything in this bag was five dollars a pop Aha. and this is the thing okay i talk with my hands it drives my husband crazy especially when we're arguing but when you're in a garage sale time is of the essence and Lady had to wrap each piece individually. Every single piece is wrapped individually. <laughs> and I even said, it, you don't have to wrap it, it's cool. Cause I'm like, I need to go to the next thing, right? Um, but she was like, oh, I just like to see what you got. I just want, this one doesn't even have anything in it. <laughs> but she was trying, okay. Now I know she was trying to drive me crazy because this is nothing in it. Anyway, the lady was like, I want to see what you got. I just want to see what you got. I really want to look at it too. I'm like, it's your stuff. You know what I got. Anyway, then <laughs> she didn't know. I was trying to hurry because I wanted to get home so we could go to the archaeology fair. Um, but... <laughs> I'm sure it just fell out um, in the bag. But then she had a square, right? Because this is the one where everybody had their own. It wasn't really like a garage sale. She had a, a, a square to take credit cards. Like, great, I can use my PayPal. Um, but it wouldn't work. And so she was just like, why don't you leave your card with me to play with until I can get this to work? And I'm like, no, I don't know you. I'm not leaving you my credit card. I said, I'll be back. So she had it all in the bag and everything. It's like, I'm going to go walk around and then I'll come back. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So first up, so everything there was five bucks. Um, so the first piece is this one. It's like this stone and it's got this butterfly kind of wreath around it. Isn't that pretty? So there was that. It's got kind of an Asian motif. <laughs> <laughs> there was some weirdness today. That was part of the weirdness. And then, and then like, I'm going around the, around the stall, like to the different people's garage sales there. And I, her grandson was with her who was like 16, you know, he's a sweet kid. And so he comes running over and he's like, okay, she's ready. You know, we're ready. And so I'm like, okay, I guess I'll come back over there now. So I went back over there cause I was still not done looking around, went back over there. And then they were trying to run it and it wasn't working again. 
And then I was like, I'll be back. I'll, I will come back. So <laughs> yeah, it was kind of nutty at the kid. There was something else at the community garage. So earlier in the day that was, isn't that pretty? It's got a good weight to it too. So, and it's just on this kind of cord. Um, Oh, sweet. Oh, good, Heather, yay. Yeah, I Yeah, I had fun doing that. And I'm trying to bring that, not bring the Amber videos back, but bring back more tutorial type stuff. I'm trying to do one every other month. Because <laughs> I, can't, I can't keep up. Okay, next up. So this is all the stuff that was five, $5 each. Next piece, individually wrapped. Let's see if I can get it straight for you. See, I'm like, I don't care. Just put it in the bag. Let's go, lady. All right, it's tangled at the top. Didn't see it, didn't keep it from tangling. Is this piece that's got this yellow stone in it. You can kind of see the lines. I don't know what kind of stone that is. And it looks like there's some kind of mark there. I can't see what that is. Isn't this pretty? I really enjoy, I liked this because I don't see a ton of like yellow stuff like that. I'm not sure that's even silver. It looks like, it. I can't tell if it's, okay, it's, mm, it's not attracting to the magnet. I don't know. Anyway, hello. I don't 100% know what that yellow stone is because like at first I was like, oh, it could be like an egg yolk kind of amber, which would be really cool because that can be pricey, but it's not. Um, one, it's cold, like to the touch. Amber's more like room temperature. Two, you can see these lines. It may just be man-made something. I don't know. It's cold. I mean, it's it feels like a stone though. Maybe somebody will know. I don't know this one. It's yellow and stripey. Pretty cool. Pretty cool, and I, I'm not 100% sure that that's it's silver. It's not magnetic, but I'm not seeing a stamp, so not sure. Okay, let's see. <laughs> I wish I could find more jars lately. Okay, so then next up is this ring, which looks like it's probably um, jasper. That's what I'm thinking. So, like so, that's pretty, I thought. And again, everything was five bucks. So I tried to find stuff. Is it marked in the bale? I didn't see a mark in there. But I can see some tarnish in there. Hang on. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, wait, yes it is, ha ha. It's marked like up in the tippity top part. Way up there, in there. Good, yay, 925, woo! Um, so yeah, next up is this one, which I'm pretty sure is a Jasper. There's a yellow adventure teen also. Oh, cool. I don't think it's glass. I guess there's a chance it could be. I'm not gonna rule it out. I just don't know with those lines. You know, they're not uniform, which doesn't mean anything. Glass can have that. That's a good question. We'll find out. Anyway, yeah, I liked the ring as well. Is it Jasper? Because there's lots of different kinds of Jasper too. Um, and then this one is also marked 925, I believe. Yeah, 925. So there's that. Ready? Here we go. Ready for the next one? I'm putting it back in the box. I'm being very responsible. Okay, let's see what's next. Y'all should have seen me. I was going bananas. I was like, really? It's okay. Oh, I just, it's okay. <laughs> Everything. Everything. Okay. Next up, this is a ring after my own heart. It's a gator. It is a gator straight from the bayou, y'all. All right. Um, I used to have a ring very similar to this. Uh, I used to be really, really into gators. So there's that cool gator ring and I don't, I don't see a mark on it let me grab the magnet it is a gator from the bayou yes <laughs> look at those teeth 
He might be a caiman though, because that's technically a crocodile. But I'm not getting close enough to count. <laughs> okay, next. Next, I'm pulling out. <laughs> there. Okay. Oh, totally, totally. Hi, Groovy Margaret. Okay, here's the next ring. Ready for it? Boom. It's big, beautiful, purple, faceted stone. The sides have these like hearts carved out. It's a big one. It's a big one stone. And there is the back. Graveyard girl. I wonder how many people send. I mean, you know how much stuff she gets in the mail. I bet somebody has sent her tons of gator stuff. I know people have sent her tons of gator stuff. I never did. <clears throat> I never did run into her. Like she lived in the next town over from me when I was living down in Friendswood. Um, I never did. And we went to the same Starbucks and everything. I, I, I'm not sure about this stone. I mean, it feels plastic. It feels, but then it's like set. I can't tell, but I think it's, I don't know. It feels plasticky. I don't know. Hang on. I'm missing something funny in the chat. I think. Um, oh, the paper. Yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> it's like Christmas. <laughs> All right. <laughs> What's in the next one? Yeah, yeah. From what I understand, Peterson. Okay, here's the next ring. Like a slur. Uh, it just, it was just really pretty. So I, I got it. This beautiful blue, I don't know, lab created, I'm sure, something. And I'm looking for a mark on this ring. I don't know. Anyway, looks like this. Isn't it pretty? So, hang on. Okay, it is not magnetic, which doesn't mean it's silver. But I'm... I don't see any kind of marks. Oh, yeah, I do. It says S925 in there. So, in there, S925. Now, something can have... Um, Something can be marked 925 and not be 925, but there's that. There's that to keep in mind as well. Okay, next up, I'm trying, like, oh my gosh. Yes. I'm going to have all the paper. Oh, that one just fell out. There's that one. That one fell out. <laughs> oh, yes, thank you. Okay, here's another one. Look at this. So it's got this dragon, like, wrapped around this tiger's eye. The This part of the tiger's eye you can't see as well as in the back. Let me show you the back part. So you can see the back part of the tiger's eye. Why isn't it? It's not showing as, you know, in tiger's eye, you can kind of see it moving can't see it as much. I know there's a different word for that, but I can't think of what it is. So it's a cool dragon. Isn't he cool? Wrapped around this tiger's eye stone. And I don't know. I was like, that's pretty cool. Okay. And it is marked. It says. I don't know what this says. Oh, 18 KSP. What is 18K SP? I know what 18K is. And then here's the cord. It looks like anytime I see one of these on the cord, I think, you know, okay, there's probably going to be a stamp on it that tells me maybe silver. Yeah, 925. So, <laughs> thank you, Kelly. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Makeup Zombie is dying for that dragon necklace. Is she? <laughs> well, here it is. Um, SP might be silver plated. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Isn't it pretty? Okay, so there's that. Again, all of this stuff was five bucks each. Bye. And then this one I thought was so unusual, so I had to get it. Look it. So it's kind of like this copper color, and then this stone or glass or whatever it is is this red, and it is translucent. You can see through. Can you see me through it? Oh, I feel it. Oh. This is fun. Here we go. It feels like one of those like magic mirrors. 
Beware the eyes of March. Ooh, ah. I don't know. I can't get my full face in there. That would be way more fun. Can we do it? Can you see me? <sighs> I can't make scary now noises, apparently. <laughs> I'm trying. I was trying to make like a scary face and through the through the grand glass. Ooh, <laughs> I, can't, I can't do it. I'm making myself laugh, y'all. Uh, I'm trying. Hang on. I'm gonna y'all are gonna think I'm crazy. Or if you're new here, welcome. Don't be afraid. Don't be a little afraid. Be very afraid. <laughs> it is just kind of creepy but fun, right? I didn't know it could do that. I didn't know it could do that until just now. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I, anyway, it's fun. Okay, whatever it is, I love it. <laughs> so there's that. I don't know, it's cool. It, it's unusual, I think. <laughs> you need to screenshot this. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's very unusual. It's like a copper color. I, I don't know, I'm almost tempted to keep it because it's so unusual. And I, anything I can play with, this is, yeah. The lady in the pen didn't take a picture like that unless it was haunted. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Let's see where I'm going. Ah, right? The screaming lady in the pendant. Okay. <laughs> okay, enough, enough. <laughs> okay, let's see what's next. Oh, yeah, go hit that thumbs up, everybody. Um, or... The screaming lady in the pendant will be back. <laughs> okay, next up, we've got, look at it again. Cute. It's a little frog. It is a froggy on a chain, like so. And he's all bumpy. Isn't he cute? And then that goes through his mouth. He's like biting the chain. And then that is the bottom. Cute, isn't he? He's on a super long chain. There. <laughs> Warts and all. A toad. Yeah, I guess he's more of a toad because frogs are very smooth skinned, aren't they? Okay. Next up, <laughs> we've got more paper. Uh, some lady named Penelope. Uh oh. Dun dun dun! Yeah, that's what I thought. Five bucks each, and I could have gotten more. She had a ton of stuff, um, but I was like, I've got to cut myself off at some point, right? So <laughs> next up, that will that will be Penelope's like end, her demise, is she gets trapped in the bloodstone. She goes on one too many secret missions and is trapped in the blood. <laughs> um oh cool you find out what the yellowstone is let me know i just found a brooch with the dangle yellowstone lines and oh okay cool okay so next is this stone with this in this ring rather um and then it's a purple stone it's got like speckledies in it and when i look at it through this way i can kind of see like i don't know like fissures or kind of veins I can't see it through this way though. I think it's the way the light is. It almost looks like it almost looks like trees, like branches in there. So I don't know what this stone is. I'll have to do a little digging to find out. Or it could be just some man-made something. It is oh thanks, Drags. Um it is not magnetic, but I don't really think it's silver either. But it's pretty. Okay. Next, <laughs> oh, it's not ready. I, it's like I forgot what I got. You know, this is another silver ring with this pink quartz, maybe. It's got gray in it. Uh, I, I might need help with that one. It, it might be a quartz. It might be something else. <laughs> Hello. Uh, okay, so there's that. 
Uh. <laughs> Hang on. There. Um, okay. There we go. I don't know if comments I delete will show up later. <laughs> that was a little too close to like, let's just give everybody Margaret's address. <laughs> I don't prefer that. Um, so there's this silver ring, 925, marked on the back. And I'm going to have to do a little asking because it might be a quartz, rose quartz, yeah. That's what I think, yeah. So there's that. Very pretty. I thought for five bucks that was a pretty good deal. Okay, then next up we've got another ring, which I believe also to be Jasper. And here... Like there's a kind of jasper that's called a like oh, picture picture frame. There's so many different kinds. I think this is a kind of jasper, but I could be wrong. Let me know what you think. Okay, like so. It's unusual, right? It's kind of different. It's got this kind of reddish stone on top and gray on bottom. I'm looking, I'm pretty sure this one's silver. Picture landscape, that's what it is, yeah. Uh, yeah, there's a 925 mark in there. So, there, okay. Um, for the most part, I think most of them are, are vintage, so most of them I think could go on, on Etsy. Some of them I might save. I was honestly, I was looking because I have fun at the auction when we do our auctions. And I know some people really like rings. So I was trying to find some cool stuff that maybe we could put in the auction. Um, so then there's this one, like so, this ring. And then there's the back of it. And I. <sighs> I don't I don't think this is really turquoise. I don't I think it's probably simulated like so. But it's still pretty. I still think it's worth 5 bucks. Somebody will enjoy it for sure. Cuz I think a ring like this that really was turquoise would be worth a really lot a large amount of money. Hang on, I'm trying to There. Ta-da. Not pretty. It's a good size too and 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 it's a bigger size. So I know a lot of people it won't even fit any of my fingers. So, <laughs> it's a pretty big size um, for somebody. Yeah, because a lot of times the rings I share, people say, oh, it's too small. Okay, here we go. What could it be? It's another ring. It's similar to the blue one, but this one has a, like a citrine, like, my guess is probably like a lab-created citrine stone. So again, really pretty. Hang on, I got more. So, there we go. Unfurl. Speaking of amber, we've got this one, which I don't have my UV light. I know, more tissue paper. Um, but when I'm looking at it, I'm like, I'm pretty sure that it is either amber or copal. And if you see like all the little speckles in there that look like little bursts. So this is going to probably be like reconstituted amber. They'll get the little, um, you know, after they make a piece, they'll have all the little chips of amber left over. And so they'll like heat them and repress them together to make other stuff. Um, and so I'm thinking that's most likely what's going on with this one. But if you get amber, you know, it feels like, it feels like plastic. It's super lightweight. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And you usually will be able to see through the back and all that. Um, but I can get my UV light and test it out later. There's other tests. If you haven't seen my amber video, there's lots of other tests to do, too, as well. So, yes. Guess what else? More tissue paper. Okay, there was a couple other, like, um, Asian-inspired pieces. So here we've got the Buddha wrapped around this stone piece. So it's like that other one with the stone with the butterflies. Did you know that the reason that the Buddha is often depicted with long earlobes is, this is what I've 
or come to understand anyway, is that it is it is a symbol of enlightenment. So those long earlobes are a symbol of, and if I have that totally wrong, I'm sure somebody will tell me. So there's that. And he's got some little butterflies on the side too. Oh yes, I, I bought some of this on purpose for the auction because I was like, oh, this would be something that people would enjoy. Guess what? Another ring. <laughs> She had a ton of rings, and I did not buy them all. I didn't. <laughs> oh, yep. Do your ears hang low? Do they wobble to and fro? Can you tie them in a knot? Can you tie them in a bow? Can you throw them over your shoulder like a continental soldier? Do your ears hang low? Y'all know that song? <laughs> Jade comes in lots of colors. Oh, cool. Okay, so next up is this really fun ring. It's got this cabochon on it, and it's reddish orange, and when you like move it around, it's got this like greeny yellow inside. Super fun. I have zero idea what it is, but it's awesome. <laughs> we were singing during the auction too. I don't know if you guys were hey, over there for the uh, for the auction. What is do you mean what is the stone or what is the song? It's a song. And we were um singing lots of fun songs. Anyway, I wish I knew what this was because it kind of reminds me of like a dichroic glass, like with the blues and the stuff, but I don't, I don't know that it's glass. I'm sitting here playing with it, trying to figure out if I can see what it was. I'm tapping on it. I don't know. Maybe it is glass. I mean, it feels, I mean, it's hard enough. Can y'all hear? Hmm. <laughs> there. Anyway, whatever it is, it's the singing was Grammy worthy. Oh, <laughs> Grammy, please. <laughs> where, what, where is the uh, YouTube Grammy award? No, okay. Okay. The next step, I, I don't remember getting this ring. Honestly, I wonder if she picked it up by accident. I don't remember picking this ring up. Okay, whatever. But we've got a ring here with some skulls, like eternity. It's an eternity ring. But instead of eternity stones with the diamonds, you get eternity skulls. Um, I, I, I know this was not in my pile. So maybe she just scooped it up off the table. But it's mine now. That's why she had all the tissue paper. Sneaking in the death ring. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, it'll sell. Whatever. Night Rider. <laughs> List it now. Yes. Okay. Looks like the Punisher. Yes. Okay, watch this ring, y'all. Okay, ready? It is probably how light, but it's dyed so unusually that I was just like, what is going on with that ring? So I'm guessing it's. This is my guess it's that it's like a howlite and that it's just individually dyed, or it's some kind of conglomerate, like smooshed all back together. Um, so yeah, that's that. Looks like a Halloween ring. Yes. But some people dress like that all year round. I have known people. I have been one of those people. <laughs> When I was in high school, they didn't have like Hot Topic and stuff like that. Um, and so if you wanted black fingernail polish, you had to buy it at Halloween time because you couldn't find it other times during the year. If you wanted bat earrings, you had to buy it in October because you couldn't go somewhere in, and there was no internet. So we really had it tough with <laughs> us alternative kids back in the 80s and 90s. <laughs> We had to make do and find it at Halloween time. <laughs> cool countertop tile put in a ring. That's true. It just kind of looks like a countertop tile. Okay, next up. It is, I might have to save this for my sister, y'all. It is a bee. How much, I wonder how many bees my sister could possibly want. I buy most, yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Cry me a river. Oh my gosh. Yeah, okay. Now I'm going to sing to you. Now I'm going to sing to you Cry me a river. 
No, I won't put you through that. Maybe I will. If I can think of the first words. <sighs> How does it start? Somebody give me the first words and I'll go with it. Yeah, so this this was probably going to go to my sister, this B. <sighs> I can't think of the first beginning words of Cry Me a River. I could probably get, once I got going, I could go with it. Now you say you love me just to prove you do. Come on and cry me a river. Cry me a river. I cried a river over you. You drove me, nearly drove me out of my head while you never shed. A tear. I can't sing it. Remember all, oh, remember all that you said. Told me love was too publian. Publian? Told me you were through with me. And anyway, okay, I'll stop there. This is the next string. <laughs> um, and it is, it's it's musical notes, which is awesome. There's like a tre is that a treble clef? And a musical. I can't remember what that note is called there. Boom. And then it's got, you know, this blue stone in it. Boy, this reminds me of Michael's music teacher. I wonder if we should save this for her for Christmas. I think we might, because her house is like all this blue color. He's Michael's piano teacher. I wonder if she would enjoy that ring. I bet she would. Ooh. What size, please? Okay. Uh, well, sorry, music teacher. You just lost it. <laughs> um, I can go get my ring sizer. Let me grab it. Hang on. You you don't mind waiting, right? I gotta scooch the table. You're on like a little TV table. Now you're gonna fall down. <laughs> and I'm gonna scoochy scoochy this. Hang on. Okay, here it goes. All right, I'm back. Got it. All right, move this forward. There. Someday I'll get my things back up here on the on the wall for y'all to look at when I make these. <laughs> this is a size like eight and a quarter. So that's that. Oh, cool. I I'm using TV trays again. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. <laughs> I don't have everything set up. When I'm doing the video, the other videos, I'm on, I'm at a table over there. But anyway, cool. There's that. But yeah, gonna go measure your finger. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, next up, we're still in the bag of tissue paper. Oh, last piece in here, and then I will go dig in the mug. So this one is another, hang on, scoot the table forward a little bit, like Asian inspired. And that is Kuan Yin on there. She is the goddess of enlightenment. Goddess of enlightenment? Goddess of compassion? Yes. Gra and I got to find Groucho. Where is Groucho? Where is he? Now that you mentioned that, I haven't seen Groucho since we moved. He might be at my mom's house. I left some stuff over there. So I don't know, like, hmm, where is he? Um, so there's that, which I think somebody's gonna really like. So she is the goddess of compassion, I think. Yeah, isn't that beautiful? So there's that. Okay, so those are the ones I got for the lady with all the toilet paper, I mean tissue paper, um, over there. So now let's take a look at our mug of fun. I didn't even look at this. I just showed this one. Has your pumpkin, he has your. Oh, yeah, this is true. Come on, I can't see in there. I never did look at this one because I was singing in. Uh, I don't know. It says 925 something. Okay, so all of this was 20 bucks. 
And first up, we've got three little bangly cuffs that are mixed metal, like copper, brass, and maybe silver. And this one's just got the copper, no, the brass and the other. Um, I'll have to see if that's silver or not and just polish it up. Okay, so there's that. Then we've got a bracelet, looks like so, with a little clasp like that. Um, it wasn't marked, but I thought, you know, her prices were pretty good. So I got it. Then next up is another ring, which I think, now that I got it, I think that there is a stone that's missing out of the middle. So it'll probably end up just in a lot. I got another big old ring. It does have a stretchy back, but that's okay because, oh, cool. Jenny, she got some of those bangles in Mexico. Look at that ring. Woo, yes, it's big. I mean, big, 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 right? So, like, like really? I mean, it's like, it's like a boutonniere or something. It's so big. <laughs> anyway, I've got a corsage on my finger. I got, there's a, there's a country song. I got a corsage on my finger because the man couldn't it. I got a corsage on my finger. I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to make up a song about why the guy can't get the corsage on her wrist and it landed on her finger. And maybe he's a miss. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. All right, so next up we have got um, this necklace, which has these multiple chains. And I don't know this brand. Maybe you guys can help me. I love the clasp. So here's the clasp. This is the brand, right? Car Caroli? Car oh, Caroli. Duh. Oh my gosh, I do know Caroli. As I'm saying it, uh, Caroli. It's a Caroli. Um, I think it's a Toyota Corolli. Um, no, not a Toyota Corolli. <laughs> Carol Lee. Carol Lee. I'm drinking. This is a diet, Dr. Pepper. Okay. I'm going to go have wings later, and I'm going to have an adult beverage with my wings. This is my, this is my gift. My gift. This is my, my prize to myself. <laughs> to go get um wings we try to go i try to go you know a couple times a month we go to a place where i can get wings um, but what's in the can uh, it is diet dr pepper i actually got some sleep last night i've been having a lot of trouble sleeping over the last i don't know week or so i mean like we're talking three hours of sleep stuff um not good so i finally got some sleep last night good um, I don't know why I'm having trouble sleeping. I don't know. Um, so anyway, next up is this silver necklace and pendant. Hang on, let me get it where you can see it better. And it's really cool. It's like this like Celtic knot style. It's just really tarnished. This is one that I might, like I don't normally clean up a whole lot, but I might clean this one up a little bit because it's really super tarnished. Uh oh, um, what's in the diet? Uh, it's that's what it is. It is that. And I have I ate sweet potatoes for lunch, sweet potatoes and some roast beef. And I know I was I was gonna do the Nyquil. I was like, I think I can do it. Last night I was like, I think I can do it. If not, the Nyquil here I come. So I didn't end up having to go there. All right, so next up is another silver necklace, which is super tarnished, but look at it. Isn't that pretty? It's got this like garnet stone, I think. It's probably garnet, yeah. Um, yeah, Car Corelli, you mean my Toyota Corelli necklace? Oh, thanks, I appreciate you looking, <laughs> I appreciate you looking that up for me. I'm gonna, I want a keyword, Toyota Corelli necklace. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Um, so yeah, it's really cute and I love the chain. Hang on, let me see if I can get that. I like that style chain. It's really pretty. 
there. Okay, so that's pretty. All right, next up, <laughs> you. I like the straight hair. Wait, I'm not sure what you mean. I must have missed something. I'm missing something in the chat. That should be a real song. <laughs> yeah, Susan, send me a message on, um, send me an email and we'll work out like a price and stuff if you're interested in that ring for sure. Um, I don't know what they're talking about. I don't know what Heather's talking about. That's fine. Um, so the next, I got, I got this necklace mostly for the chain. It's got a little cupcake on it, which is cute and all. I like a little enamel, and it's got a little stone. But I, I think that the chain is probably, eh, no, never mind. I thought the chain might be silver, and I'm always looking for chains to put stuff on. But still, I, I'll probably put the charm in a lot and just save the chain. Hang on. There's something in the back of this. Dr. Pepper so Southern. Oh, the big pink flower. Okay. N O. I don't know. Oh, okay. Couldn't pin it up. Oh, yeah. Okay. There we go. That, that's a good, you know what? That's true. Because, yeah, the boutonniere had to go on the finger. He couldn't get it on the wrist. Daddy wouldn't let him near the, <laughs> what do you call this part? The decoupage. It's not called, in the South, we'll call it the decoupage. Um, even though it's not really called the deco, we're going to go there. <laughs> we're going to go there. Um, he put the boutonniere on my finger um, because my daddy would not let him anywhere near my decoupage. <laughs> What's the real word? What is it? Um, you guys know what I'm talking about. You guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, next up, we've got a pendant and brooch in one. Um, so here it is, is a flower. Oh yeah, go hit the thumbs up. Thank you. <laughs> All this entertainment for the, the low, low press of the thumbs up. Okay, this is a premiere design. So there's the brooch part on the back, and then there's the pendant part. <laughs> Deco deco decolage. Yeah. Well, my my daddy always calls it the decoupage. So. Maybe it's like a decoupage. You get the Mod Podge and decolette, decolletage, decolletage. That's it. <laughs> I'm gonna do some decoupaging tonight, Daddy. Oh no, you're not. Don't go anywhere near. We're, but Daddy, we're going to decoupage. We're going to do some decoupage. Nope, Jimmy Bob. Don't go anywhere near my daughter's decoupage. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> okay, so next up we've got this brand. Oh, I just noticed that there was a tag on it. So it, that is also Premier Designs, so if you can see right there. Um, this Premier Design bracelet. Cool. The corsage. Torque corsage on the decoupage. Decolletage. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> yeah, isn't that pretty? Um, yeah. I thought somebody might, you know, somebody, it's got lots of stuff. It's got lots going on, but it's really pretty too. <laughs> I really should have read books. Oh my gosh. I got some stories. I got some stories from the classroom. Wait, are you talking to me? Okay. I don't know if you're talking to me, Cindy, or not. Okay. So next, isn't this pretty? So this is again, still in that 20 bucks. Um, you know what we do, Cindy? You'd probably enjoy this. Decolete, decolete. Now we're now you're making de decolete. Okay. Anyway, well, so on in in our car when we take long car drives, this is fun. We take turns. We round robin telling stories, but we don't add on to the next person's story. So it's like you tell it, you you tell a yarn, you're telling a yarn and you string that yarn out as far as you can until you can't go no more. And then you say to be continued. And then like James will start his story and he'll tell out his story. And then when he gets to a spot, he'll say Con to be continued. And you've got, then you've got that amount of time to listen to his story and just try to like, what am I, what's going on in my story? What am I going to do next? I don't even know. Um, 
to try to think out what's going to happen next in your story. So um, we do this like for hours in the car. <laughs> so, and then he'll say, okay, part one, chapter, chapter one, part one, chapter two, you know, like he'll, yeah, anyway. So there's that. <laughs> It's fun. I'm trying to think of what the last story was that I was making up for them. I can't even remember. We need to audio record it because really sometimes we come up with really funny stories or really cool stories. Okay, so next up we got the zebra stripe kind of ring. <laughs> he gets out the shotgun. He's cleaning the shotgun on the table. There's that. <laughs> and I I don't think this one's silver. I think it's just like a no, no. Just a fun, like, costume jewelry, fun ring. I don't know. I liked it. And we got some more down in here. We got some silver. Don't go away. <laughs> Isn't it? I mean, I get, it's, it's, it was James's idea to start doing that. And um, he's he's pretty good at telling stories. But I really do need to have him audio record it because he's, he's dyslexic. So trying to get him to write it all out. If I tell him that's such a good idea and to write that down, no. I got him a little, and he, I got him an audio thing to record into, but I haven't, he hasn't used it yet anyway. So we need to start audio and court recording it. So there's this ring. It's pretty, it is an adjustable ring, but I think it's pretty enough that it wouldn't matter. I think. So there's that, like so. Um, Gosh, I wish I could remember what the story was the last time, because I really did think like, oh, maybe I should write this one down. This is pretty fun. <laughs> okay, got another ring. This one is really bent out of shape, but it is silver, so I can try to reform it. And I don't know what that symbol is. See, I'm just going to reform it on here. Rah. <laughs> That's the reforming a ring sound. Rah. Ugh. Some people don't. Some people don't like them, or some people think they're like cheap. You know, the adjustable rings. I've sold them personally. Okay. Rah. What keywords do you, I, I use adjustable, um, cause sometimes people with larger or smaller fingers can definitely. <laughs> okay, there we go. So I sort of reformed it. It needs a little more work. Um, uh, hang on. I was trying to see what else it said in there. Just, I don't know. Okay, so there's that. Um, naming them for extra points. There's Jimmy. Well, <laughs> there's like a, what is it? It's a, There's something on the side of the road near our neighborhood. Randy runs a lot. And one day he was running. It was kind of dark outside. He thought it was a dead armadillo. And it turned out it was like, not, it was like, I don't know, like a, a rock or something. I don't know what it was. But now every time we drive past it, he goes, there's my armadillo. <laughs> okay, so next up, this is also in the in the in all of this $20 stuff. And it is a sterling silver ring with, it looks, it looked purple before, but it doesn't look as purple right now. It's kind of, where's my phone? If I shine a light through it, we might be able to. Yes, for sure. Okay, here we go. I am looking for my flashlight. Here we go. Flashlight. Let's see what color you are. There. See, it's kind of purpley. Like an amethyst purple. There. Haha. -ha. Uh, glorifying a rock. Yeah. Oh, sorry, my computer's sliding. Okay. Um, like so. Really pretty though. Um yeah, there's my armadillo. Dad stops at every hysterical historical book. Oh, cool. Okay, then there's just a couple other things in here. There is a little charm pendant that is, what do you think that is? Like a margarita? That's an awfully small margarita, though. What do you think? Do you think it's supposed to be a margarita? I mean, it's got an umbrella. And stuff. Maybe. Mm, like so. Did you put these? 
Yeah, no, no. It was like she had all the jewelry there, but I couldn't, I couldn't hold everything. So like there was a mug sitting nearby. So I grabbed the mug and just started throwing everything in the mug. Um, yeah, my tie looks like a salty rim. Okay, that. And then there was a little heart thing. And I just threw it in there. Just a cocktail. Yeah. A mai tai. It does have a salty rim, though. Something, you know. Maybe that's salt. Are they flowers? I don't know. What is another, like, Hawaiian-type drink? Something tropical. It's not a daiquiri. Anyway. A margarita or a daiquiri? Maybe, yeah. Okay. Is that everything? That might be everything. <sighs> This was fun. I got, um, now class, I got in a, a jewelry lot I ordered uh, from the UK. It is not in my trunk anymore. It is downstairs. So hopefully soon I'm going to unbox that. <laughs> right? I got a lot of good stuff. I mean, I spent probably about 130 bucks, but I don't think I'm going to have any trouble getting my money back. So. We're gonna unbox. <laughs> we're gonna unbox this other UK lot, and then I've got some stuff that I need to do a giveaway with because I've got that UK and the eBay France, um, those two lots. So I want to like make something. I'm telling some point. Oh gosh. Um. Thanks so much, you guys. Hey, and yeah, make sure you go over there and hit the thumbs up button. Also, if you enjoyed this video, share it with a friend. You know, I'm almost at 25,000 subscribers, which is really amazing, I think. And and follow me on Facebook. I think that's it. We're gonna go get some wings. Gonna go get some wings. And I'm gonna have an adult beverage with my wings. So, and I'm gonna go put my my corsage back on my finger. Um, I, I have, Kimberly, I've done some. I actually did a, I did one video where it was like a uh, eBay, like an Etsy shop review, it didn't go over so great. So I don't know. Um, but yeah, so there's that. I'm trying to think of, I feel like there was something else I was going to say, and now I can't remember what it was. Mm -mm, I can't remember. But we'll be back um, probably tomorrow. We got the Munch Pack. So if you enjoy the Munch Pack videos, the boys have been chomping at the bit to get into that munch pack. But I don't think it's going to happen today. Unless I come back later after an adult beverage. Which is not unheard of. But I don't really do that. I write it down. Okay. Okay. Um, I gotta go. I know. I'm just I'm rambling now. Alright. Go hit that thumbs up button. And I'll, I'll see you soon. Bye everybody.